YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another mystery box. So this one's a little bit different than the uh, other mystery boxes I've done in the past. This mystery box is from Pop King Paul and it's actually an out of box mystery box. So really excited to do this one. I've never done one uh, before this out of the box for Funko Pops. Um, really excited to open this one up. Like I said, there's some pretty cool grails in there. I think there was two pops per box and they were $50 each. So let's open this box up and see what we got. Here we go. All right guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you update to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this was a $50 box from Pop King Paul. The value was guaranteed. All the pops in this box um, line were out of the box. Um, you know, if you watch my channel at all, I'm not too, too big on the boxes. You know, if uh, certain pops I want to have, but you know, I'd much rather have the pop into the collection and at least in this form out of the box and not have it at all. So I'm um, really excited. They had a whole lot, or he had a lot of Disney Grails in there. He had the Mayor, which is like a $300 Funko Pop. He had lots of the Bear, a um, few Wizard of the Oz Pops that I wanted to get. Um, some really cool ones. So really excited to open this one up. As you guys can see, the box is really, really small. Not too much uh, could really be in here. I know he had the um, the Aladdin and Genie like movie moment. I don't think this box is big enough for that. So didn't need that one. So hoping to get some pretty cool ones in here. And um, like I said, it was two per box. So we'll see what we get. Um, you know, it'd be cool to do these in the, in the future if other companies did it. Um, definitely shout out to Pop King Paul for doing something different. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, assess the value of these for the guarantee value since there's no box. Um, but I'll just go off the Funko app for the purposes of this video so you guys can uh, get a feel for what this box uh, was valued at. So without further ado, I'll open this up. Like I said, there's two pops in here. Um, we'll just pull this one first. It's in a little bag. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> So this is Minnie Mouse. This is the original Minnie Mouse uh, from Disney. So I don't know how expensive this one is, but I know I do not have it. So I don't have the original Mickey Mouse either. I do have Goofy, um, but I'm missing Donald. Um, and this, you know, like a lot of other the original Disney characters I needed. So yeah, this one's really cool to have. Um, probably one I would have kept out of the box anyway, just because I do have a Disney display. Having Minnie and Mickey out of the box just kind of makes sense. Uh, my Goofy actually doesn't have a box either. Um, he was one of the uh, few pops that were available in this line as well. Um, so hopefully that's not the other pop in here. But nonetheless, this Minnie is really, really cool. Um, you know, she's an iconic character. Um, I just like the old school look of this one. Um, it's just like the regular black and white mini um, silhouette that Disney did back in the day. And, uh, you know, the pink on that just makes it pop a little bit more. Let me see. This has down there is a 2011 pop. So uh, I think this is one of the older uh, runs of this Minnie Mouse. I don't think she's vaulted or anything. Her and Mickey Mouse, I do believe, are still available. We'll check in a second, but to my recollection, I think the only two that are like the original like Disney characters, Donald and Goofy, are vaulted, but I don't think that these two are. So let me check out Minnie Mouse real fast on the Funko app and see what she's going for. All right, guys, so like I thought, I didn't think this one was too expensive at all. This Minnie Mouse is going for seven bucks, so nothing too pricey at all. Um, I don't know if this technically is worth a little bit more because it's a 2011 one. And I know if you guys have watched my videos before, the old Disney Pops with the Disney Store logo on the box, something like this one where it says Disney Store right there, those are actually a little bit more valuable. So. Technically, this one may be that, but without the box, I would say the value is still at $7. Um, so yeah, first pop is Minnie Mouse, which is still one I needed for my collection. I'm really excited to have it. Um, $7 for this Minnie Mouse. All right, guys, so there's one other pop in here. Hopefully, it's a Disney theme as well, and we get one of those top grails. I'm feeling it, and it feels like what I think it might be. I think it might be the mayor. That would be a huge, huge hit. But let's see. Number two. Oh! 
We have the mayor. Wow. The mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this pop is like $300. I'm gonna check in a second. But this is a pop I kind of wrote off of ever having in my collection just because it was so valuable. Um, again, I'd much rather pay the 50 bucks to have many in this out of box and pay the $300 to have it in a box. Yeah, I'm gonna check the value in a second, but this is the one I kind of wanted the most. Uh, the Lots of the Bear, the Alien from uh, Toy Story were definitely other big hits that I wanted. Um, but all in all, I think this might have been the top grade on the box. Um, I don't remember all the pops, but I know this is definitely one of the higher end ones. Uh, unless the value went down, you know, they could have switched up on me. Those values change all the time. Um, but yeah, man, this one's really cool. As you guys saw, the head turns around like it does on the Nightmare Before Christmas. So you can see the uh, good side and the bad side, which makes this pop even more of an out of box pop because if you were having this pop in the box, you wouldn't have even seen that. I honestly didn't know it had it on that this uh, side on the pop at all until today, right now. So uh, yeah, this pop is extremely, extremely dope. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the this and Oogie Boogie were really, really the only two Nightmare Before Christmas pops I really uh, wanted to have in my collection. But yeah, guys, man, um, I'm about to check this value real fast, make sure I'm not tripping. Bruh, this pop is going for, on the Funko app, for $410. $410. That is crazy. Yo, so... Yeah, this is the only way I would have gotten this pop because I wouldn't have paid that four hundred ten dollars for this one. Even though I'm a Disney collector and you know I like to have all the top grails, this one I don't see myself paying up for. But I'm so glad I got it in this box. Um, you know, one day maybe I'll come across a boxed one or just a a box for it. Um, but for now, I am thrilled to have this in my collection. Um, yeah, man, for fifty bucks, I gotta say, Pop King Paul definitely. Uh, you know, he uh, came through in the clutch with this one. So, yeah, definitely check his his uh, mystery boxes out. You know, I have a, I tried to get a lot of them. I don't think I've gotten any other ones recently since the uh, pandemic other than this one. Um, but that makes up for all the losses of missing on the boxes by getting this huge grail for my collection. So, yeah, guys, um, I have nothing else to say. You guys can see the total value right there as far as how I with this uh, $50 box. All in all, I think I did incredible, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite one is. Maybe you like Minnie Mouse more than the mayor, but let me know what you think. If you've not already, hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on there as well at the Pop Savage so you can stay connected to what I post on there. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll see you later.